So yesterday I shared from Psalm 19, verse 14, let the words of your mouth and the meditation of your heart be pleasing unto the Lord. I talked about the words of you, the words. Yeah, well, I'm not good at that. But how about the meditation part? How, how's that working? You know, I thought about that too. And I thought the words that I speak, well, sometimes they don't come into my mind. They just sort of flow out. But sometimes I think about things. I was in a store the other day and I walked in and, well, they're rearranging everything. Can't find anything. And I have to go to the far end of the store and I'm walking through, my feet hurt. And I'm behind someone that's leaning over their cart and they're in the middle of the aisle, looking here and looking there. And they are going like a snail. Yeah, the meditation of my heart, it wasn't good at that moment. I was thinking not good thoughts. I wanted to have an air horn and blow it behind them. Good thing I didn't have one. And we do that, don't we? Sometimes the meditations of our hearts are not pure. Sometimes they're, well, we're conniving. We're thinking about other things, not of God, but of life, of situations. I, I have some compulsive stuff that I do in my life and it frustrates the daylights out of me and I don't know how to stop it. It's who I am. It's what makes me tick and it's always not a bad thing per se. It's just annoying to me. It can be annoying to my wife. Now, I don't line things up in a perfect line or that kind of stuff and if you saw my desk in my house, it's, it's a mess. But it's organized for me. Yeah, I think sometimes we need to think about what we are meditating on, what we're thinking on and sometimes what we're thinking on, well, it's not pleasing to God. Maybe you and I need to work on that. Would you think about that today? Hey, until next time, God bless.